Welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Dimba, and today I'm going to take you through the de the development and cutting details for the uh, 256 by 140. I mean, 254 by 146 universal universal beam, uh, but in this case, it will be a castellated beam. So we'll get started right away. And uh, our normal route will be uh, applications and component here. It, this is the point we'll be getting the the special tools that will help us in creating. Uh, the development cutting and cutting details for this particular size of the castellated beam. So I'll double click on my uh, castellated beam macro here and I'll define uh, the two points to, de to define the length of my beam. So I'll snap it right there. Then I'll right click to terminate that command. So I'll close this and close this so that we can see you can have a clear visibility of what we are doing so this is what we have a right click and uh, redraw so if i double click on it again we will be able to reach out to this dialog box of uh, castellated beam so in here this is this this uh, re remember tecla structure picks the previous settings of what you did so this is the default of what we did previously so we want to modify this and uh, get a different size or get uh, a different development accounting details for this particular size of the beam of two of 254 by 146 so uh, uh, we'll feed here for this size we will feed this information right here uh, in here we'll feed 254 here 254 right there and uh, the height of our beam will be one on 381 381 or 380 is okay both works uh, 381 and uh, our flange le uh, width with uh, will be exactly 146 146 right here and from this point to this point will will be a slightly different will be slightly different this one will read uh, I mean 73 this will be 73 and uh, this point to this point will be 64 this one will be 64 and we'll go ahead and click modify it has picked and we'll apply and uh, give an order by clicking ok then click on empty screen then we'll, we'll right click and come to redraw and we, ca we can be able to see whatever we we have here this is how it looks this is how it looks but we don't have the 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 cutting line or the welding line we uh, remember this is a two beams cut into cut cut into the center and join together to make a, a similar beam a, sim a similar beam with a similar uh, a beam a similar beam with a similar flange width but slightly bigger and light <coughs> now what we do we'll come to edit and come to points and come to at any position here and remember we want to define the points to cut so I'll select on this right click and come to special copy and, and come to copy not special copy and I want to transfer this this point to the other end I'll move this to this far end here right there and uh, now I'll come to polygon and select the part I want to cut then I'll snap on that exact position and uh, come to the center right here and move all the way to the to the other center right here and I'll snap right here move down and uh, snap on that then we'll move to our initial spot to close our polygon to remove this part out so I'll snap right there and remove and we'll see immediately that section has been, has been trimmed off so we can d uh, click left click on empty screen then right click to access the re uh, re redraw view so we we'll lose the part that have been uh, trimmed off and to make sure we lose it we save every section we've reached remember once you've saved it not go back Select on this, right click and come to special copy. Then we'll come to linear and we want to copy this up along the Z axis at, uh, at a meter. And uh, you can see that. So redraw once again and redraw that view. And we'll reorient our XYZ axis and we'll place our XYZ axis on that position and select everything right here. And uh, come to special move, pick rotate and define your rotation line along these two points. Right there and click move. And once that has been done, you can pick this and right click and come to move here and pick it at this point right there and move it down 
and join it up with this one here right there there we are and now we can redraw that to remove those those are active symbols of cutouts and uh, and uh, other sections now this is how it looks remember to weld and how to access welding you just come here and type weld and you can weld them together the welding the welding that uh, stanchion weld and that's it now i'll come here and select on that then come to special copy and i will move that slightly up by a meter so if i turn that round you'll be able to see how it looks it's well done now i'll right click and redraw then uh, uh, i'll confirm that uh, i've confirmed that several times and we've, we've reached an agreement that uh, everything matches everything uh, everything that is on the dialog box of our castellated beam so let me double click here and access this dialog box here this is where it is so these are the details and you can pick them and use them in your development and cutting details of, of your castellated beams these these are standard and their bs standards let me just show the, the show this to you you can always use this as a as a library for collecting all the information that you want to use in your steel in your uh, for your steel fabrication and erection here now thanks a lot for watching this video i'm morris diba and don't forget to subscribe if you're new if you're new to this if you're if you're a new subscriber or a new viewer or you've just bumped this year first be able to bump on on for uh, from this channel don't forget to subscribe bye bye i'm morris diba